Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Some exciting stuff today from the EW stream. We got our first look at the Waterfowl rework on the new Finland map, Revon Tuli Coast, the up and coming new map. Uh, we got to finally see some Waterfowl rework action. We got to see them hunt some ducks, TK and Jaxi in the stream today. Really, really cool. We got a whole bunch to talk about, new collars, uh, new decoys. We got to look at the new reflex site, the rework of that, the new colors and the different lenses and opacities and stuff. Uh, we're gonna talk about all that stuff. I'm gonna have some of the, the stream playing in the background as I do the commentary and kind of uh, just go over everything that we saw today, a lot of firsts and Really excited to share that with you guys in this video. Drop a like on the video if you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's just jump into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is just kind of what the waterfowl rework looked like to me. So we got to see the ducks flying around. They're obviously a lot faster now. They look a lot more realistic the way that they fly, the way that they kind of fly together in their flocks. They kind of circle very realistic, very like much more like real life ducks uh, than they have been at any time in the past. It's really, really cool to see. They are a lot faster. Uh, they circle. The, we got to see the landing animations in the stream today. Uh, they look it just looks incredible some of the sounds look really cool that was something i noticed was the sounds when the ducks are land landing is really nice the splash of the water there's definitely some new sounds that i was able to pick out in the stream today uh the water itself looks amazing with the new reflections and things like that so we got to see um the new ducks just the animations we got to see what they look like in the harvest screens the harvest screens look really cool they have changed the harvest screens a little bit they're a little bit less transparent you don't have to you don't have to necessarily look up into the sky when you're picking up an animal anymore to, to see it clearly Early. So that's really cool to see graphically and just what they look like amazing amazing artwork um, The animations some really nice looking models for the ducks, especially the Eurasian teal absolutely breathtaking the artwork and the models look really really good We got to see uh, the new kind of look of the mallards at one point in the stream I can't remember if we got to see a male. I think we had to no, it was a female that we had to see but there's definitely Some major overhauling that's been done with the artwork and with the models of the mallards and the ducks just look absolutely stunning that was definitely uh, an outstanding point of the stream for me was just what the ducks look like they look so good so new decoys there's decoys for every new species all of the duck species have their own decoys as well as collars it's a lot of collars um, we got to see them you know this huge list of uh, you know there's a collar for every species has their own collar now I believe except for maybe the mallards and the teals and the harlequins I think the old ducks are still on the old beacon deluxe duck collar I could be wrong about that um, but every duck has their own decoys uh, so a lot of you're gonna have a lot of collars if you're trying to go out and hunt geese and ducks you might have like you know eight different collars on on you at one, any given time so it might be I can see it being a little bit confusing at first but like I think for me what I'm gonna do if I'm going out hunting ducks you know take all five collars and uh, have them on their own hotkey and just do it the same way every time and I think with time you know after you've gone out a few times you'll start to remember what your hotkey was for for each each collar or you can use the new wheel that's being implemented instead if uh, maybe if you're on controller it might be easier to do it that way so it looked a little bit confusing in the stream but I think it's something that we'll get used to it's cool that they have their own unique collar they definitely could have consolidated them and maybe had you know multiple ducks with maybe just two or three new collars but I, I think it's pretty cool they all have their own look they all looked really amazing and they have their own sound and they sounded like some of the best collars that I've ever heard in Call of the Wild so definitely no complaints uh, on that note for me um, another cool thing we got to see the the new float blinds it looked really Really cool they had one out one out each for TK and for Jaxi very realistic um, definitely opportunity for pass shooting which is something that I was hoping for with the, with the waterfowl rework pretty realistic man you can have one one person in, in one float blind one person calling one person shooting and just calling a bunch of ducks it looks like the ducks are all kind of random which as far as on the map where they are they had every species of duck up above them at what once at one point in the stream so pretty cool they're not just all in their own section on the map they can all be together you don't really know what ducks are going to be there what species are going to come in so that was really cool I really liked that but yeah you can have one person you can do it with uh, with a friend and have one person calling one person shooting just like in real life uh, pass shooting is definitely going to be a thing it's a lot harder to hit them uh, with the speed that they're flying at now which I really like it's definitely going to be a challenge something that's uh, everyone we're all going to have to get used to and start practicing but super cool to see it all looked uh, 
top notch, definitely exceeded expectations for me. And I'm super excited uh, to get to try out the waterfowl rework. It looks really, really cool. So we didn't get to see any geese in this stream. I'm sure down the road here uh, in every stream, I think they're going to show us a little bit. They're going to show the white tail. Uh, apparently they said that the white tail, Jaxie said specifically, or maybe it was TK, that the white tail on this map are really, really good apparently. So that's exciting. I'm hoping that I will be able to do a white tail grind on this map. And it sounds like this map is going to be really good for white tail. So uh, in the coming weeks, over the coming weeks, we'll be able to see, we'll see more and more. We'll see the geese, I'm sure. And then they'll probably go out and hunt the upland birds. We'll see some grouse and we'll see the tar again that is something else that they mentioned so on this map the only birds that will have to be in the air to get full score will be the pheasants just like usual the pheasants will have to be airborne to get full score and also the ptarmigan so the willow and the rock ptarmigan will have to be airborne as well as the pheasants to get full score but every other every other bird all the waterfowl and every other bird on the map you'll be able to shoot on the ground and still get full score but yeah so hopefully we'll get to see some moose hunting and some whitetail hopefully we'll get to see some lynx hunting really really curious about how how the lynx hunting is going to be on this map hopefully we'll get to see that in a future stream and i'm sure we will be able to see that um they also showed us the reflex site they showed us there's a whole bunch of options now for that reflex site you can change the shape and the color of the reticle you can change the lens color and opacity as well you can change the opacity of, of both the reticle and the lens itself so you can change the color of the entire lens and it looks super cool you can change it to pink or yellow or green or blue or whatever you want and then you can change the opacity and in different types of light on the map in different situations different times a day that's actually gonna come in really handy I could definitely see myself using uh, a low opacity uh, yellow lens uh, probably all the time with that site I think that's gonna be my go-to but that was super cool to see was really really happy with how that looked especially the, the lens color and opacity options are really really cool for that site that's gonna be a lot of fun as well still no release date still no release date uh, no clues to a release date uh, given uh, at all we don't have that yet we don't have the full trailer yet so they have given us all of this a little earlier than usual. So um, I'm still guessing end of June is my guess. Um, maybe mid-June if we're really lucky. But uh, realistically, I think it's a good guess to say end of June. But at this point, we really don't know at all. They haven't given us anything as far as what the release date is going to be. But hopefully it won't be too long. Great one. They talked a little bit about the great one, but no new clues. They haven't given us anything. Um, we don't even know if that new great one is going to be on Finland. They haven't told us that yet. We're all just kind of speculating speculating and assuming things at this point. We're assuming that it's going to be on Finland. I still think it definitely is going to be on Finland, but we certainly don't know that for sure. We don't know anything about what, what species it's going to be. They haven't given us anything. I still think it's a moose or a brown bear. Maybe it's a waterfowl species. Maybe it's maybe it's a grouse. Who knows? Maybe it's not even on Finland. We don't know for sure. If you guys have any speculation on that, anything you want to add to that conversation, let me know down below for sure. But yeah, how did you guys feel about the stream? I think that's everything that I wanted to go over. The waterfowl rework so far, uh, exceeding expectations expectations for me. It looked amazing. What did you guys think? As far as whether or not ducks can still be found on water or on land, uh, it didn't look like it. I, I couldn't get uh, clarification on that. It looked to me like they have to be called out of the air. I don't know if we'll still be able to find them on the water or, or on land. That's something I was hoping for, but I haven't gotten any clarification on that. Based on what we saw in the stream, it looks like you do have to call them in. If you guys n noticed anything about that, if there was something that I missed, let me know down in the comments. But from what I saw, it looks like they have to be called in out of the air and then break and then land uh, but I could be wrong on that and I'm also curious to see if that's going to be a thing with the geese I would love to be able to just find geese hanging out on the land at a need zone or on the water but yeah I don't have any clarification on that I'm not sure if that's going to be a thing I'm hoping that it is not the end of the world if it isn't but if you guys know anything about that definitely let me know down in the comments but yeah that's pretty much it for me I think I covered everything I wanted to cover really exciting stuff I hope you guys enjoyed the stream hope you enjoyed this video if you do drop a like on it don't forget to do that it helps so much I really really appreciate it comment down below if there's anything you want to add to the conversation subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you guys and as always i will see you guys in the next one